so where would the rest of the symbols be my roots in drumming come from very young um, I was told that when I was two and a half I set up cans and got pencils while I was crawling to my mother's cupboard and I would get the cans and the pencils and mimic the drum hits. My father bought me a little toy drum set when I was three. My grandfather bought me a real miniaturized drum set when I was four. And by age five, I was performing at huge family weddings. And I did that a couple times a year. So those are my roots. And it's very family uh, su supported. Not as a career. My father said music's an avocation. That's why I went to college for software engineering and accounting. Am I close? Yeah, that'll good. The angles later. Okay. After you fly in Australia for it was a ten or twelve day thing, home for a couple of days, off to Brazil. And the family? Ah, uh, very well. The little guys. It's, good. It's weird being away. That's okay though? Yeah. yeah well, oh. uh, so, I mean, I'll, I'll keep an eye. We keep an eye in case it's gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> going to open up with a young man who's the fast who's got the fastest hands in the world Mr. Mike Mangini's in the house it's just us on stage alone what a wonderful opportunity for us as musicians it is to be able to create our own artistic expression our own story with all the rhythmic components dynamic components um, um, melodic components, tonal components, mathematical components. It's all exciting and a serious challenge. The one and only, Mr. Mike Mangini. Thank you.
is this world's fastest hands thing caused an uproar in the drum community. Boy, have I seen some negative press on it. I need to be able to play fast. As fast as I can humanly go, A, it's a lot of fun, okay? It's just fun. Whee! Hitting stuff around the kit. But it's also a fulfillment of my calling. If it's put in my heart and mind in a language that's beyond my intellect to even understand, the fact is it's there. I don't need to question why. I'm going to say one thing before I demonstrate what I played, which is the whole idea of not thinking while playing. I don't know how that's possible to not think, meaning if somebody invents a switch where I can turn me off from me, do you know what I'm saying? If I could just turn me off so I could go to sleep at night or something, then I wouldn't be thinking. I'd be shut off. But there's no such thing. There's no such thing as not thinking. The idea is to control the thinking. And when you study the human brain, you begin to understand how this works and how it's possible. To be in certain states of mind. To have what we do come from feelings. Yet at the end of the day, it breaks down into something that can be measured scientifically on one end of it. 
but yet it's all heart and, and spirit and gift on the other end, just a combination. So let me share a couple of moves with you. And I want to be technical right now, so allow me that, okay? I'm going to change time signatures eight times, from one to two to three to four to five, four, three, two. That's one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, that's it, eight of them. And then I'm back to one again. Watch. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. It's really hard to kind of count, keep track of that while the rest of the body's, let's say, playing six, six note patterns. That's actually a 12 note pattern. Double paradiddle. And I also played a pattern of 19. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, 6 and 7, 8 and 9 and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One. I didn't double 10. Let me demonstrate all of those for you. So at least you know what I'm doing. I can teach it to you this week. It's not hard to teach it. It's hard to get in a room and go do it yourself. Because you're going to make so many mistakes like I do. Okay. Um, let me start with the pattern first. week, right? Yeah, we're going yes. to learn from each other. We're going to share and you're here to gain some things from us and hopefully we can deliver on that. Okay.